As Kai Sato stunted his growth. Are Big Daddy Kai's chances to make the NBA over? Why isn't he in the NBA? Basically, we're gonna find out all of these questions in this video. You know, if I make it to the NBA, I'll be the first Filipino, and uh, my dream is to help uh, others uh, to get here too. Look at Kai trying to do good for the culture, man. That's just for Kai himself. Kai Zachary Perlado Soto, born May 11th, Perlado? 2002. Today's feature is a once prodigy trying to become the first Philippine born player to play in the NBA. At 7'2 and just 20 years old, you yeah. think the potential of that happening has to be high. It is. But for Soto, decisions made along the way, along with factors ah. out of his control, made his short journey feel a lot longer and go a different way than many expected. Hey, it's all about the journey, As chat. As the 2022 the NBA draft wound down, the Washington Wizards with the 54th pick selected the last center of the 58-man draft and Kai Soto fans had what to feel is that? but nervous at the same time. Just four more picks to go hey. and for sure Soto would hear his name called, right? Right, right. Especially after being compared to the second overall pick of that draft, Chet Holmgren has a talent slightly below but with his size and ability to stretch the floor, tons of potential. He was the tallest player to commit to the draft that year, auditioning for a league where size is a premium. Hey! Would he fit well with the Golden State Warriors who held the next oh! pick? Cavaliers, Trailblazers? Then, with the last pick of the draft, the Indiana Pacers select Hugo Basin from France. What the f oh! Who is that, man? It's ugly ass. Look at his earrings, boy. Look at that. Oh! One of Kai's dreams of being the first Filipino-born player on. drafted into the NBA. Hey, do y'all want me to react to his 2023 uh, NBL highlights, by the way? I have that in the arsenal. I can do it at any moment. I probably will eventually, but like, if you don't want it now, I can do it. It's crushed, but on to plan B, as yeah. he can still be the first to play in an NBA game should a team deem he's ready enough before it's too late and his name settles as just another failed prospect who couldn't figure it out. His Come first on, step in his newly found figuring it out process was another year with the Adelaide 36ers for the 2022-23 season. Yep. He played 27 games at 13 minutes a game and averaged 6.8 points, 4.5 rebounds and more turnovers than assists. Add to the setbacks, ah, just center. 0.8 blocks a game, 70% from the foul line, and 22% from three, Ooh. which was supposed to be the chair. 22 is the best number, though, so, you know, he can, he can raise it up. Three on top skill NBA teams became hey, interested yo. in in the first place. Besides being the tallest player on the team and one of their only draft prospects, Soto didn't do anything to help his case as a player the league missed on and should offer a contract at the soonest. Most recently, he signed with the Hiroshima Dragonflies in Japan's B League February 2023 and is waiting to make his debut and finish What's up the so next three long? months with the team for the second half of their season. From there, Kai hey. hopes to join an NBA Summer League team with the goal of signing an NBA contract and There's showing There's no the way he doesn't join the Summer League this year. There's no way. And if he balls out in the Summer League, oh my God! Last few years didn't hinder his development and that he himself. has grown into a player that can help an NBA squad. For now, the battle is uphill and the opportunity to become the player expected could be at its end this upcoming summer. What? Salute. Shut up. Kai Soto is Just a kidding. seven two a center video. born in Los Pinas, Philippines to a six seven Kai what? Soto is a seven two center born in Los Pinas, Philippines to a six seven Where was he born? Hold on. Kai Soto is a seven two center born in Los Pinas, Philippines to a six seven father and six one mother. Los Pinas? His father played professionally serious? in the Philippines, so for Kai at his size potential and constantly being around the game, had no choice but to pursue basketball and make the NBA Bet. his target, especially seeing as he had the best chance of any to be the first Philippine-born player in the league. Yeah. He became a star for Ateneo High School and yeah. the junior team, averaging 25.1 points a game, 13.9 rebounds, and 2.6 blocks before moving to the United States yeah. for a final year to help develop his skills against the best competition. Stepped over him! 
Atlanta, Georgia, Yo, I gotta watch the averaged 27, 10, too. and 4 blocks it. at the King Invitational, Georgia. He averaged 27, 10, and 4 blocks at the King Invitational. Insane. And by the end of 2020, he was courted by Kentucky, Auburn, USC, and Georgia Tech, but chose to forego his college eligibility and sign with the G League Ignite. He was expected oh, okay. to play for the Ignite, also to miss a few games while with the Philippine national team at the 2021 Asia Cup qualifiers. Yeah. He'd never play a game for the Ignite, turning out to be a huge setback. Damn. Stunt number one, not going to college. Step over my I think the though. first standout choice Soto made that didn't bode well for his future was him not going to college in a safe environment where he could find some consistency in the US and also a place he could develop his game and his body, not to mention his confidence before attempting to go pro. Whether it yeah. took a year, two years, or the full four, he would have still been a seven-footer and still have an opportunity to be drafted, seeing as seven-footers never go out of desire. With how he played at the skill factory, it wouldn't be far Balled off out. to think he could have the same success on the college level. Plus, right. the great thing about college basketball and being a prospect with the hype like Soto is you get ample time to choose which program will best suit you trying to develop into a better version of yourself. One of the reasons later on Kai Soto went undrafted was because after working out for multiple NBA teams, they felt he wasn't strong enough to play center in the NBA, wasn't Damn. fluid enough with his movements, mainly laterally to be effective off the pick and roll, nor creating for himself or teammates. In college, none of that would have mattered, and here's why. Kai Soto, assuming he chose a school he could come in and be the featured player, would have put up enough numbers on that level of competition that a team would have what taken the animation? risk no matter how he looked in workouts. Chet Holmgren, his longtime comparison, went to Gonzaga and averaged Ball 14 points out. and 10 rebounds, along with shooting 39% from three in his lone season and was a top three Dang. pick. Before the draft, many had him going number one. Soto could have done close to the same on a team like Auburn or USC and at least become a he mid to, to late school, first though. round I pick, feel it. still a 7-footer hype around his potential. Just to play Not choosing the college route placed him on the professional circuit too soon and led to his other growth stunts. Dang. Stunt number two, not being able to play for the G League. Wasn't that the first Make one? Make matters worse, being able to play oh, college to play. eligibility okay, okay. and still wasn't able to play for the Ignite team that had Jalen Green, Jonathan Kaminga, and uh, Dejan yeah, Nix so much bringing much it. desired attention to the new alternative route and Kai being one of the few foreign-born players selected for the opportunity certainly would have had his share of eyes to himself. For real. Not to mention when you hear about his game on paper, being a seven-footer that can also shoot threes, he was one small step away from realizing his dream. What happened to his G League right. opportunity, though, was partially out of his control, as no one expected a worldwide pandemic and it to affect as much as it did. Travel restrictions, but also when he was allowed entry into the United States, the G League announced it had reached a mutual decision that Kai wouldn't be able to join the Ignite team. That's messed they called up, it a mutual decision, but it makes no sense for Soto to not take that opportunity, seeing as it was the final step to getting to the NBA. All for what? To go to Australia? Japan? I think the Ignite were already set in their roles, and contractually, it didn't make sense as well to add Kai after missing so much time and being out of the country hey, so in Asia, exposed to whatever they thought he was. Either way, one bad decision not going to college led to another, and here we are with Kai Soto. Stunt number three, still not ready. Another huge growth stunt for Soto is the NBA seeing he's still not ready after two seasons as a professional under his belt. Of course, they won't be able to fully tell until they see him this summer should he make a summer league team, but in the experience he's been able to- if you're watching this, you better be grinding right now. I ain't gonna lie. You better be like, there better be a reason you aren't playing in the B-League games yet.
there better be a good reason that you're just like getting in your bag. You are getting absolutely ready as fuck right now. Get your also, bag RJ Hampton, who likes Soto, underperformed on that level and turned out to be the same underperforming player in the NBA, is a good judge Dang. of whether or not Kai will struggle. The thing really about Soto a, bro, is it's heck? not a development thing not that will RJ simply Hampton. come along over time. The way he's built, it seems this is who he'll be for the foreseeable future. Nah, He's man. Slow, weak physically and doesn't seem to have the dog in him to overcome those things. What worked in projecting his potential was his outside shooting and rim protection, which he's not fared well at as a pro so far. His last few months in Japan will make or break Soto depending okay. how it goes from hope. here. All in all, I think Kai will most certainly get an opportunity this summer to see if he developed enough or not. Yeah. He has to improve his competitive nature and own the fact that eyes are on him and he needs to perform. He has yeah. some good tools, but mentally, is he still confident like he was as an amateur? I think he made a bad choice not to go to college and it led right. to more unfortunate occurrences that make Kai Soto's NBA future look a lot more discouraging than it once was. some bad business decisions, Salute. which, well, first of all, this video didn't even mention how a lot of those decisions weren't even his fault. It was his shitty manager. He has a new manager now, which I, I, I racked into a video a long time ago, not about six months ago or something, something like that, talking about his manager, how his manager is the one who just decided all these things. I wish this video had put that in there. It kind of blaming Kai on all of it. Which I mean, Kai should have worked harder. I'm not saying he doesn't work hard, but he should have he should have just made those decisions by himself instead of listening to a shitty man. Good, much respect. But, but for these so it, reasons, it's not all Kai Soto blame, may like, be on his you know, last NBA opportunity. So if he if he messes up his last opportunity, which is the B League and Summer League, then it's then it's Kai's fault. It's Kai's fault if he messes up these last two opportunities. Yes, JC stunted growth, and I'm out. He's out. Stunted growth's out. He's kind of hating, but like, he ain't wrong. It's his last opportunity, chat. He's got to be going hard right now.